weekends we've been talking about the differences between regular headaches and migraines and now the doctor is in to explain a little bit more about those migraines and what exactly a cluster headache is. Good morning Dr. VJ. Good, Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Well uh, a little bit more about the, the migraines. Um, yeah, they're pretty severe. Yep, they can be very At severe times. and they can be debilitating at times, absolutely. You know, and, and there's uh, various ways and modalities we can treat them. But as with everything else, prevention really is the best thing. Um, but in addition to debilitating migraines, there are certain other much rarer f types of headaches, such as these, these cluster headaches. They tend to, as their name says, they cluster around certain times and there's not really uh, much of an aura or other signs that you can get or much um, that we know that brings them on, really. And uh, these things actually cluster around seasonal changes. So a cluster headache, how would you know that you had a cluster headache or how would your doctor be able to figure that out? <laughs> well, just by looking at the history of headaches. Um, you know, essentially if you're ever getting a severe headache for the first time, one that's so bad you've never had one like it before, it's an urgent situation and you need to get medical treatment right away, yeah. medical evaluation. You need to go see your physician, see a local emergency room, just to make sure that there's nothing very serious going on such as an infection or potentially even a growth. Once that's been ruled out or if it's a headache that has been coming and going for quite a few years, then the doctor can sit down, look at it, and judging on the pattern, uh, he or she can determine whether or not it's a cluster headache. Uh, Over-the-counter medicines, mm -hmm. the best remedy, uh, sleep, rest, what do you advise and uh, do any of those, uh, you always see the headache uh, commercials, migraine commercials on TV or online, uh, right. what works best right. you think? Best thing is prevention. So what you want is you want a regular sleep-wake cycle. You don't want to sleep too much or too little. Both of them can, can stimulate headaches, either a stress headache or a migraine headache. So appropriate sleep-wake cycle, um, not drinking too much alcohol, consuming similar amounts of caffeine. If you do all these and have a, a healthy lifestyle and you're still getting headaches, then there are certain medications that you can take before the headaches get really bad or as soon as you find out that you're getting them. If you do that as well and you still are having headaches that are fairly debilitating, then it's important to, to come up with a treatment plan with your physician. There's certain other stronger medications that can be given and that can be taken on a routine basis as a preventative measure. And taken safely. And taken safely, that's right, absolutely. Right. Well, very good. Thank you again for joining us and explaining the mysteries of migraines and cluster headaches. Now, if you ever have a question for the doctor, just email it to us at news.